Now the next topic is going to be about OSPF authentication and I want to make it very detailed. I'm going to talk about different types of authentication in OSPF and that's going to be two different types. The first type is interface level authentication and it's going to be between two adjacent interfaces. The second type is going to be area wide authentication and it can configure it on all interfaces participating in, in one area. And of course you have different modes of authentication. The first mode is null authentication, that is you are using no authentication. Actually in OSPF you are not using no authentication, you are using null authentication. That means you are not using a key for the you know adjacency. The second type is type 1 that's going to be clear text authentication and you can configure it using IPOSPF authentication command and adding an authentication key and this is not so strong so we are not going to use this as well and the third type is uh, OSPF authentication type 2 that is going to be OSPF message digest key authentication message digest authentication and this is the strongest type that is going to be configured on my interfaces okay let's go and start configuring this and I want to start by router 1 and switch 2 and configure authentication between the interfaces of these two uh, devices. So I go to router 1 and first of all I want to check to see if there is any authentication enabled here. And as I told you if you see no authentication that means you are using null authentication that is authentication type 0. So I type show IP OSPF interfaces brief to see if there is any adjacency here. You can see that on fast 0, 0 I have one neighbor detected and one adjacency created. So let's go and to see uh, fast 0, 0 in detail. You can see that there is nothing about authentication in this result. That means I have null authentication enabled on this interface. That means you are using nothing for in authentication. Okay, let's go to configuration mode and interface level configuration mode by going to interface fast 0, zero. I want to enable clear text authentication authentication type 1 and this is going to need two different commands the first command is IPOSPF authentication and if I type this I have enabled IPOSPF authentication that is going to be clear text authentication the next thing is to add a password using IPOSPF authentication key command and next assign in the password that I want this is Cisco in capital so I hit enter and these two commands tell me that I am using clear text authentication I need to have both of these commands on the other end to have uh, accomplish the adjacency you can see that the adjacency is now removed because this site does not implement authentication so I go to interface VLAN 16 and type in these two commands and after a while I should see that again I have adjacency between these two interfaces and this is the log that I just saw okay let's see and have some verification show IPOSPF interface fast 0 0 is the command that I need to check you can see that it tells me simple password authentication is enabled under this interface and show running config of interface fast 0, zero will tell me that I have used these two commands the first to enable authentication and the second is the authentication key okay this is not so strong type of authentication I want to have the strongest type that is using message digest so I will remove these two commands. I will do this on switch 2 as well. And I will go for another type that is going to be the strongest type. IP OSPF authentication and after that I will type in message digest. This tells me that I need to use IP OSPF message digest authentication for this interface. I hit enter and next thing again I need to have a password so I will type IPOSPF message digest key and I have to assign a key number 
and you can see that the key number is between 1 and 255 I type 1 for example and next I need to tell that I am using MD5 as the algorithm and next thing is the password so this is gonna be Cisco in capital for example so let's see the running config of interface fast 00, zero and see two pieces of, of command here that is used to enable the strongest type of authentication for OSPF. IP OSPF authentication message digest tells me that I am enabling message digest authentication and the other one is assigning the key number and the password. So I will do, again copy these two commands and go to switch to and paste this here but instead of key number one I want to see that if there is any you know uh, effect and changing the key numbers so I change the key number to two and hit enter and I want to see if there is going to be uh, an adjacency between these two interfaces so let's go to privilege mode and start debugging IP OSPF and you can see that I have adjacencies and I want to see and you can see that it tells me mismatch authentication key so I need to make sure that the authentication key is the same on both sides so I undebug everything and again go to configuration mode interface VLAN 16 and change the key to 1 And I can see that both password and key number should be the same to have the adjacency enabled. And after a while I should see the adjacency here. And again on R1, I want to see show IPOS with interface fast 0, 0. And here you can see that it tells me message digest authentication is enabled and the key number is number 1. So you know two types of authentication here. Now I want to show you if you want to have authentication uh, area-wide what you should do. So I want to disable these commands again. Let me select these two commands and negate them. And so you I will do the same. And I want to go on area-wide. So let's say here I have interfaces in area 1, 2, 3 and I want to make sure that every interface in this area is having authentication enabled. So for this I will go to router 1 first. Go to router OSPF process that is process number 1. I guess this is process number 1. And let's see, running config section router OSPF. We type in SRO for uh, section router OSPF. And after you can, you can see that this is process number one. And I want to have authentication on area one, two, three. So I will type IP, uh, sorry, area one, two, three. And after that, I want to say that I want to have authentication enabled and I can say that message digest authentication is going to be enabled or simple uh, authentication if you want simple authentication you should type area 123 authentication and if you want to have the strongest type of authentication you should type area 123 authentication message digest and I want to see the hardest type of authentication that's going to be message digest and this piece of command goes under router configuration and still you need to assign the key on their interface level so let's see interface serial 00, zero. and for this I will type IPOSPF message digest key number 1 MD5 Cisco in capital so this is the command that you need for two so I have one command under router configuration and one command under interface configuration. I will copy the command that is under router configuration, that's this, and I will go to router to enable configure terminal router OSPF1, paste the command here, 
and under interface serial 00, zero I will type IPOSPF message digest key 1 MD5 Cisco in capital and under router 3 is router configuration and interface configuration I should have the same commands router OSPF1 area123 authentication message digest and for interface serial 00, zero IPOSPF message digest key 1 MD5 Cisco in capital now you know everything about OSPF authentication and you can see that the loading is done right now so everything is correctly configured under area 123